Flags fly at half staff, honoring the life of a man who died Monday while fighting the White River fire. 40-year-old pilot Tom Duffy was carrying out water drops as a contract worker for the U.S. Forest Service. Wildland firefighting is more than just a career. It's more than just a job. It's a calling. And so it means a lot to us to be able to come here and show our gratitude and show our respect for one of our own that gave his life in service of others. As a line of cars made their way down Hood River streets, first responders from multiple agencies stood on the tarmac of a Hood River airport. We are all out here today to give our respects to Tom, who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And as the flag draped coffin is loaded into the plane, his dad, the man who was there when Duffy came into this world, would also be the one to fly him home. To a degree, I think it's very honoring in this case that the family played that role. Burke Miner is the director of the Wildland Firefighters Foundation out of Boise. His organization helped plan today's procession. It's something he's done multiple times, and it's never easy. You know, it shows honor and support uh, from everybody who uh, is in this is in, in this world. Uh, they all gather, they stop, and they honor the fallen. And that's what you've seen there today. That was a that was a complete honoring of Tom. Tom Duffy was flown back home to Bozeman, Montana. For 20 years, he flew as a search and rescue pilot there. The father, husband, and business owner is remembered as a big man with a big heart who brought calm to every mission. In Hood River, Devin Haskins, KGW News.